The U.S. Navy has now commissioned its second Zonewall class destroyer, USS Mansour, DDG-1001. It comes after the first one, the USS Zumwalt. It's a stealthy, high-tech, next-generation destroyer to sail into the next several decades and beyond. Now, it's configured specifically with a handful of never-before-seen technology. Warrior had a chance in recent years to talk with Raytheon weapons developers. They're one of the key elements of what goes on the ship. One of them is an integrated power system, which is an electric drive. It's stealthier, and it generates a lot more onboard power. So, of course, what does that mean? Lasers, rail guns, different kinds of electronics can then be integrated. It also, first and foremost, has a stealthy configuration. Various news reports said the first one, the USS Zumwalt, appeared to be a small fishing boat from another boat in terms of radar or sensors. The idea is to operate in high threat areas without enemies even knowing you're there, certainly not knowing you might be a destroyer. It also has something called Erlap, which is a long-range precision weapon that fires from the deck. The USS Zumwalt has been going through what's called combat activation, where the electronics, the weapons, are all fired and all being prepared for ultimate deployment at sea. There's another thing on the ship called Total Ship Computing Environment, which uses next generation processing speed to manage a lot of the electronics and onboard weapon systems. One of the key elements of this is to reduce the hardware footprint. You have a server that's much more consolidated because you have faster processing speed and you don't need as much space. And it can generate a lot more information in terms of interconnectivity, networking both the sensors and the weapon systems. The vertical launch systems are structured around the periphery of the ship to increase angles of attack, a sphere or an envelope of places they can be fired in terms of defensive interceptor missiles or offensive attack. Also, simply you don't have them as condensed, so should an area of the ship be hit in a war situation, you'd have others that would still be able to function. A key part of this weapon system as well, the Erlap, the deck-mounted firing, it's not only much further range than something like the standard 5-inch guns, but it's much more precise. The further your standoff range, the more effective you can be in attacking, of course, without being at risk. Commissioning of the Mansoor, that means two Zumwalt class destroyers are now nearing deployment. Chris Osborne, Warrior Maven.